Welcome to the Finite Math Podcast. In the previous episode, we saw how to superimpose the column graphs for our two distributions here that we wanted to compare. Now, this method has uh, a certain drawback. Notice that the scale on the left side and the right side don't necessarily match up. And we did that so that we could uh, put one on one axis and one on the other. Now, uh, this can lead to uh, misinterpreting the, uh, the results of these data. So uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, using another graph type to compare these distributions. Now, we could modify this graph, or what we could do is go and start over. OK, so here we're going to just start over. So uh, this time, we want to use a line graph. So we proceed in the same way. We highlight our two data sets that we want to compute. Go to the chart wizard. Now let's select line graphs. And we've got several choices to choose from here. You can pan through them to see down here that describes what they do. We'll just take the first one. Uh, and we see a sample of what the two graphs look like. Uh, now, of course, the category x-axis is not uh, the way we want it. So let's go to the series. And let's add the appropriate uh, data points down here. These are the number of hits. Uh, we could probably also fix up the series names again. Let's see, I think the series 1 in column K was going to be the experimental. And we can add a name to series 2. That was going to be the theoretic. And it looks like that's OK. So we can go to the next. Let's see. We now want to fix some values of this. I guess the legends. Well, the legends are over here on the right. Let's put them at the bottom. It, makes it, it gives us a little more area to play with. Anyway. OK, so that's the uh, way that we can construct these graphs. And now notice that in this case, how the numbers match up. Uh, the first one was going to be 0.25 compared with uh, 0.19. And notice that we only have one scale here. Now, we could also uh, make one of these graphs a column graph if you wanted to, in which case we would do the same thing like we did before. We could right click on it, and we could just change the chart type. So supposing we change the chart type for this type to number one. And so then we would have a situation where, say, the theoretical ones are given by a column graph, and the experimental ones are given by a uh, line graph. And we can see, uh, compare them also that way. So this gives you a couple of, of different ways where you can compare the two data sets. And you don't have to worry about having uh, different scales on the different axes. Well, that's it. Thank you for stopping by.